I've scored game-winning goals, I've scored in playoffs, I've played with the national team, and I've had these great moments in my life, but the most chilling and, and memorable moment in my life is probably when the fans cheer for the kids. It's, it's amazing how it's brought so many people together. For his entire professional career, Kellen Bro has been leaving it all out on this field for the New England Revolution. And since 2015, he has been just as dedicated to what he calls curing bad days. Look, there you are. You've been involved with the Never Ever Give Up crew. I know it's joined up with the club, but you've really spearheaded that. One of my college buddies, Corey, he started working with the Jesse Reese Foundation, which is the, the overall umbrella of the Nigu crew. He's like, hey man, I think you'd be really good at this. You're really good with kids. Um, we go into the hospitals and we give what's called joy jars. It's just a jar full of toys. On that visit, I got to meet a kid named David. David was a huge soccer fan. At the end, he's like, hey, do you think I can come to one of your games? And so, you know, we thought, let's see if we can actually make this happen. Fortunately enough, the final game in 2014 that year, David and his family were able to make the game. And so he was the first ever Callens Niku Crew kid. The success of that just created this big event, not only through the club, but everywhere else. You know, Ryan Hollinshead is now starting four of Ryan's Niku Crews in, uh, in Dallas using the same platform. I see someone coming! Abigail, it must be you. Abigail is a young woman who is going through a hard time. She was diagnosed when she was four and a half years old with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Spent two and a half years for treatment and never stopped smiling. In August, she hits one year of no treatment, which is a great celebration, so we wanted to bring her to the game to make sure to know that we're supporting her in every call she has. When we're going to be watching the soccer game, we're going to go in my secret room and watch the room? soccer game. Oh, up there? Yeah, up there. You guys have a nice little secret room, huh? Yeah. They get to watch the team practice warm-ups, um, high-five all the players. I'm Andrew. I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. I like that. To watch the game, the family and, and, and everyone involved will go up to the uh, box. Looks like Revolution just got another point. And then after the game is when the fans really get involved. The kids will walk the field. And at the very end, they'll go to the fourth section, which is our big supporter section, and get chanted at, hey, Abigail, never give up. Hey, Abigail, never give up. When you negotiated your new contract, you negotiated for the Revolution to also donate to the Jesse Reese Foundation every year that you're a part of the team. Why was that so important to you? That could have been money that you took. Why did you decide to pay it forward like that? You have to take a moment to realize that it's more than just soccer. It's about life, it's about giving back. We talk about community and how it's been so involved. Well, now we get people on top of the top to be involved in this community as well. And I think it just brings everyone together. Can we like high five to that? I just love that. So Can I try the unicorn head thing on? Yeah. I think it would look really good on me. What a sweet man he is. <laughs> He's a very great guy and I'm so glad that we got to meet him. When you see a kid smiling out on the field waiting for you, it's kind of hard not to smile back. Next up, Kellen hopes to grow the Nigu crew throughout Major League Soccer. And when his days in MLS are over, he will still be committed to curing bad days.